Little did Anthony Ray know, better known by his stage name Sir Mix-a-Lot, that his song about his love for bodacious backsides would not only become a double platinum hit, but change his life forever. The Auburn, Washington-born rapper, songwriter, and record producer grew up in Seattle's Central District. Life in the city during the 70s wasn't easy. Widespread unemployment and a tanking economy led to sky-high food prices and rising rates of people deciding to take their own lives. The streets owned by gangs and pimps could have had an unfortunate influence on young Sir mix lot but his mother made sure that wasn't going to happen on her watch. As a child, he was a fan of Prince, Michael Jackson, and his personal favorite, James Brown, but listened to a wide variety of musical genres, including rock and heavy metal. He also began to develop a love of the growing new genre of hip hop. Early on, Mix had an ear and a passion for music that eventually led him to begin rhyming in the early 80s. Soon after high school, he began DJing parties at local community centers. Mix then ended up playing weekends regularly at a local boys and girls club in South Seattle. After moving over to one of the organization's other locations, Mix met local DJ Nasty Nez Rodriguez. Mix, along with Nasty Nez and a local businessman, would go on to found the Nasty Mix record label, on which Mix would release his first professional body of work. The track, Square Dance Rap, would be his first song to experience any popularity outside of Seattle. After it was picked up by DJs and clubs nationwide, Mix went on a cross-country tour. One particular experience he had while on the road would serve as the inspiration to write his next hit, Posse on Broadway. Released in 1987, the song would be his first to make it on the Billboard Hot 100 and got a lot of love in the Seattle area for its references to many local landmarks. The song eventually sold over a million copies and went platinum, yet nobody was talking about this new up-and-coming rapper named Sir mix -Lot. The reason why could possibly be blamed on timing. The top mainstream albums at the time were from Madonna, George Michael, Guns N' Roses, and Michael Jackson, so clearly there was a lot going on. Swass, Sir mix lots debut album featuring both songs, was released the following year. His follow-up album, titled Seminar, came just one year after that, featuring the singles My Hoopty, Beepers, and I Got Game. None of the tracks had any success in the pop world, but did do moderately well on the rap chart. Then, three years would go by before Mix put out another album. During this time, he experienced some financial ugliness with his label. Yes, the one he founded, which landed him in court. When it was all said and done, he had no choice but to leave. After signing to the Deaf American label, Mix finally dropped his third album titled Mac Daddy in 1992. The project's second single, called Baby Got Back, would become Sir mix -a -Lot's biggest hit ever, reaching the top spot on the Hot 100, go double platinum, win a Grammy Award for Best Rap Solo Performance, and take the title of the second best-selling song of the year, behind Boys to Men's End of the Road. Though it wasn't without controversy, complaints of sexism and racism plagued the artist, and the music video, featuring raunchy dance moves and skin-tight clothing was only shown on MTV after 9 p.m. Years later, Mix would reveal that the idea came to him to write the song while on a music video shoot. I remember a director asked me what kind of girls I wanted for the video. I said, curvy. So he got in this debate with me about what beautiful is. That's when I said that I wanted to do a song about this from a little different perspective. I still wanted to make it fun and sexy, but at the same time, I wanted to let the world know that we think these women are beautiful, not just objects. Contrary to what some people have mistakenly thought was the type of woman he was referring to in the song, Mix made it clear in his 2011 interview with The Village Voice who it's about and who it's not. I've seen girls that look like me and been like, oh, I'm Baby's Got Back. And I'm like, no, 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 no. It wasn't Baby Got Back and Center and Middle and Front, you know? If somebody asked me what I had in mind when I did it, it would definitely be someone like Shakira. J-Lo at her peak. That is exactly what I'm talking about. The Coke bottle. In 1994, he released Chief Bootknocker. As understandably difficult as it would be to duplicate the success of Baby Got Back, 
the album did manage to squeeze out some success with the single Put Him On The Glass. Another track, Just A Pimpin' In Me, would also give Mix another Grammy Award nomination. Not surprisingly though, when his 1996 album, Return of the Bumpasaurus, put up abysmal sales numbers, Sir Mix-a-Lot left Deaf American. Nothing more was heard from Mix until 2003 when he released his last album to date, Daddy's Home. In June 2014, Mix collaborated and performed with the Seattle Symphony as part of their series of new orchestral pieces inspired by Seattle's music icons. To date, the YouTube video of the performance has racked up over 12 million views. Also that year, rapper Nicki Minaj released the single Anaconda, which prominently features samples from Baby Got Back. Mix took to Twitter right after the release of the music video, which he watched 37 times to praise Nicki on a job well done. Around this time, Mix also did a sit-down interview with Flat TV, revealing that the timeless classic has easily made over $100 million. To anyone who thinks he fell off after the hype of the song died down, they couldn't be more wrong. Over the years, Mix became a pretty savvy businessman and ensured that through writing nearly all of his music, as well as securing his publishing, he would never be hurting for money. A couple of years later, the song once again got some extra social media attention when actress Blake Lively posted a picture of herself at Cannes, captioned with the Baby Got Back lyrics, LA face with an Oakland booty. A lot of people were heated about it, but not Mix. He actually came to her defense saying that the song wasn't about a race battle, but about celebrating curves. Mix says that his ego has never been what drives him, nor has the idea of gaining street cred. He's really just a hardworking guy who's always tried to have a good career. Today, Sir Mix-a-Lot still has a lot going on. He tours regularly, goes out for Chinese food, and spends a crazy amount of time in the studio. He also keeps a strong connection to his roots by continuing to maintain a residence in his hometown of Auburn, Washington.